Tell me, uh, if we stay at the electrical engineering aspect, yes, sir. can you mention three things? Vis a vis electrical uh, GTD, generation, transmission, distribution things, yes, that, are, that are affected by politics. Okay, sir. Um, sir, first in the case of the power generation, sir, there have been issues where the power purchase agreements have been cancelled by the government and this has been because of the, like they were the commitments made by the one government and the another government when it comes in the power, it does not want to honour those agreements which it thinks are not, re uh, are not according to what it uh, committed in the public. Um, the second issue in the case of the sir, distribution sector, it comes in that the subsidies in the electricity that are provided, um, the agricultural, especially for the agriculture sector, uh, they are uh, primarily distorting this kind of uh, having negative impact on environment as well as the food production and other dimension, but still they cannot be done away with because a large voter base lies with the farmers. Um, sir, the third issue uh, regarding this, uh, I think, uh, maybe in the transmission sector, sir, it's a kind of competition. That is, uh, the thermal power plants, they want the uh, transmission sector, that uh, they want their own plant load factors to rise. And for that to rise, they must be given uh, more access to the thermal, uh, sorry, to the transmission networks. On the other hand, the renewable energy uh, uh, generators, they want that, they should be given the priority in the terms of green corridor building, linking it with the uh, grid, etc. So uh, this issue kind of becomes a bit political, like uh, if whatever political party, what kind of support it has and what its inclinations and ideology are, it can decide between the thermal or the uh, renewable energy.